Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about aliases and pins in RemNote, which are features for our pro users. So let's just get started with aliases. So what are aliases? Aliases are alternative names to your Rem that will be linked all together, and they'll preserve the same features as your references already have. So let's just get started with some examples here. You can make an alias for any Rem that you want to. I'm going to create a new REM called National Broadcasting Company, which some of you might know as NBC. Now, if I want to reference National Broadcasting Company in my knowledge base, it can get really cumbersome to type out National Broadcasting Company every single time. So I'm just going to make an alias for it called NBC, which is much more colloquial. To make an alias, use Alt or Option plus A. And now I can type in the name of my alias, NBC. And now if I want to reference or tag or portal in National Broadcasting Company, I can just use the alias instead, much easier. Today I learned about NBC. And just like how all references, tags, and portals behave, to the right of that rem will appear a number. And if you click on that number, it'll show all the times that that particular alias was referenced. And you can create multiple aliases for the same rem just by hitting enter. And anytime I make a reference to an alias, it'll also be linked to the parent national broadcasting company. But each individual alias will also be referenced individually. So you can also see when you've used each alias. So for example, I'll type in national broad boys here. And you'll see that only a one appears next to National Broad Boys, but National Broadcasting Company is linked to both of those instances. Another way to change the name of an alias is to right click on the reference. I can right click on a reference to pull up the reference options. And there's an option here to add an alias. So I'll hit enter there. And now you'll see all of the different aliases show up if I want to use a different one, or I can just delete this name and type in a new one. So let's get into a couple more use cases for aliases. One could be if you're learning languages. For example, if I'm learning about the word dog in English, I might want to make an alias for this um, in German. It would be Hund, or in Spanish, it would be Perro. In Vietnamese, it would be Ja. Another example is if you're using certain words that have different spelling or different tenses. For example, the word humble. I would make an alias for this, and I can use humility, humbled, humbling, because all of those words represent the same idea or concept in my knowledge base. I want them to all be linked together. All right, next, let's move on to pins, which are very similar to aliases. So pins can be used to reference a rem, but it does so without a name. Instead, it'll just have a pin icon or symbol in your document to make it more subtle. So pins can reference rem, but do so without a name. So this can be really useful if you're just trying to make citations for a research paper, or you're taking notes from an article, or if you just want really subtle references in your documents. So to demonstrate how to turn a reference into a pin, we need to first insert a reference. So let's say that today in class we learned about the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset. And if you're familiar with the author of this idea, it's a woman named Carol Dweck, who's a professor up at Stanford University. She does some great work. And just like how we turn a reference into an alias, I want to do the same here by right-clicking on Carol Dweck, hitting enter to add an alias. And this time, instead of changing the name, I'm just going to delete the name altogether. And if I do that, you'll see an option that says set to pin. Go ahead and click enter. And although it shows up as this pin symbol, it actually retains all of the same functions as a reference would. For example, if I right click on the pin, it'll bring up Carol Dweck. If I left click on it, it'll open up Carol Dweck's name for me in a document and I can see all the other places that I've referenced her before. All right, everyone, that's everything you need to know about aliases and pins in RemNote. Hopefully that helps you link things together better and make better notes. And I will see you all in another video.